Hello, and welcome to the webinar, MLC Kits, New Editions and the Classics. My name is Charlie Simpkins, and I'm the Special Collections Coordinator at MLC. We have kits that libraries can check out to use for programs in Special Collections, and that is what I will be talking about today. We have a lot of items in Special Collections, so I'll be breaking them into different groups for this webinar. Since, unfortunately, some people still only associate libraries with books, I will start by talking about our book club kits. I will then talk about our costumes and different types of games. Lastly, I will talk about our miscellaneous items, so please stay tuned until the end. Before I begin, I would like to make a special note. You may be wondering who can reserve or check out kits from MLC Special Collections. Any library in Mississippi can use our kits, and all you have to do is contact me, Charlie Simpkins, at C Simpkins at mlc.lib.ms.us or at 601-432-4498. I will be happy to check and see when the kits you are interested in are available and can reserve them up to 18 months in advance. You will need an institutional account set up with MLC, which all public libraries in Mississippi have, but if you are with a school library, I can help you get one set up. Everything is based on a first come first served basis so you may want to reserve these items a few months in advance. Libraries and books are so connected, how could I not start by talking about our book club kits? They are available for a three-month checkout period, which includes time to receive, distribute, read, discuss, and return the books. Each book club kit comes with 10 copies of the book and a discussion guide. Most of them have a discussion guide, usually from the publisher that I will email you for your convenience, but if there isn't one available, I will email you some general discussion questions. MLC will cover the cost to mail you the book club kit, but does not cover the return postage. You may also arrange to pick up and or return the book club kits to MLC during our operating hours if that works better for you. One thing to consider when starting or running a book club is how will your participants meet? Traditionally, it was in person, but during the recent pandemic, many people moved to and continue to meet virtually. While in-person is more intimate, virtual may allow others to participate. I heard one librarian talk about how a book club member's child, who now lives in another state, was able to join her mother's book club when it was virtual, and it was just one more way for them to connect. Also, if there is a book you think would make a great addition to our book club kit collection, please let me know. I love trying to make new book club kits available. So, what type of book club kits do we have? Of course, we have some best-selling titles, such as Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Taken hostage by a failed bank robber while attending an open house, eight anxiety-prone strangers, including a redemption-sinking bank director, two couples who would fix their marriages, and a plucky octogenarian discover their unexpected common traits. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Twin sisters, inseparable by his children, ultimately choose to live in two very different worlds, one black and one white. In The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. When an aging and reclusive Hollywood icon selects an unknown magazine reporter to write her life story, the baffled journalist forges deep ties with this actress during a complicated interview process that exposes their tragic common history. We also have nonfiction titles, such as Educated, a memoir by Tara Westover. This traces the author's experiences as a child born to survivalists in the mountains of Idaho, describing her participation in her family's paranoid stockpiling activities and her resolve to educate herself well enough to earn an acceptance into a prestigious university and the unfamiliar world beyond. Evicted, Poverty and the Prophet in the American City by Matthew Desmond. A Harvard sociologist examines the underrepresented challenge of eviction as a formidable cause of poverty in America, revealing how millions of people are wrongly forced from their homes and reduced to cycles of extreme disadvantage that are reinforced by a dysfunctional legal system. And Make Something Good Today by Aaron and Ben Napier. Using their own story as a springboard, the stars of the hit HGTV show Hometown encourage readers to seek out the good in life, celebrate the beauty of families and friends, and prosper within their communities. 
We also have young adult titles, such as Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alre Sanz. 15-year-old Ari Mendoza is an angry loner with a brother in prison, but when he meets Dante and they become friends, Ari starts to ask questions about himself, his parents, and his family that he's never asked before. Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wynn. After crash landing in France in 1943 and being captured by Nazis, a female wireless operator for the British, who goes by Queenie, Eva, Verity, and various other aliases, reveals bits of codes in exchange for a reprieve from torture and to postpone her execution. And The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. In a future North America, where the rulers of Pan Am maintain control through an annual televised survival competition pitting young people from each of the 12 districts against one another, 16-year-old Katniss's skills are put to the test when she voluntarily takes her younger sister's place. We also have juvenile fiction titles, such as Goldilocks by Jimmy Cajolis. Traveling between camps in the magical forest of the hinterlands, a young girl with gold-flecked eyes and hair as white as summer snow survives on items pillaged by her gang of bandits while being tracked by a witch hunter who wants to cleanse the forest of anyone who is different. Hello Universe by Aaron and Trotta Kelly. Lives of four misfits are intertwined when a bully's prank lands Sha Virgil at the bottom of a well and Valencia, Cora, and Jen band together in an epic quest to find and rescue him. In One Crazy Summer by Rita Williamson Garcia. In the summer of 1968, after traveling from Brooklyn to Oakland, California, to spend a month with her mother they barely know, 11-year-old Delphine and her two younger sisters arrive to a cold welcome as they discover that their mother, a dedicated poet and printer, is resentful of the intrusion of their visit and wants them to attend a nearby Black Panther summer camp. We also have graphic novels such as Mouse by Art Spiegelman. The author-illustrator traces his father's imprisonment and survival in the Nazi concentration camp Auschwitz, his reuniting with his wife Anja, and having the author as a son. Persepolis, the story of a childhood by Marjan Satrapi, the great-granddaughter of Iran's last emperor and the daughter of ardent Marxist, describes growing up in Tehran in a country plagued by political upheaval and vast contradictions between public and private life. And Smile by Raina Telgemeier, an autobiography in graphic novel format, describes how the author lost two of her front teeth in an accident when she was 12 and her subsequent struggles with various corrective dental implants throughout adolescence. Some of our newest editions include The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Somewhere out beyond the edge of the universe, there is a library that contains an infinite number of books, each one the story of another reality. One tells the story of your life as it is, along with another book for the other life you could have lived if you had made a different choice at any point in your life. Nora Seed finds herself faced with the possibility of changing her life for a new one, following a different career, undoing old breakups, realizing her dreams of becoming a glaciologist. She must search within herself as she travels through the midnight library to decide what is truly fulfilling in life and what makes it worth living in the first place. Pretty Things by Janelle Brown To save her mother, a con artist who hustled to give her a decent childhood, Nina must run her most audacious, dangerous scam yet that involves a privileged young heiress as they both try to survive the greatest game of deceit and destruction they will ever play. And The Readers of Broken Will Recommend by Katerina Bivald. Broken Will, Iowa, has never seen anyone like Sarah, who traveled all the way from Sweden just to meet her pen pal, Amy. When she arrives, however, she finds that Amy's funeral has just ended. Luckily, the townspeople are happy to look after their bewildered tourists, even if they don't understand her peculiar need for books. Marooned in a farm town that's almost beyond repair, Sarah starts a bookstore in honor of her friend's memory. All she wants is to share the books she loves with the citizens of Broken Will and to convince them that reading is one of the great joys of life. 
but she makes some unconventional choices that could force a lot of secrets into the open and change things for everyone in town. Costumes are a great addition to programs. Many children, and even adults, love the novelty of interacting with and or getting to get a picture with a costumed person. They can also help with outreach and offer some new creative opportunities for PR and social media content. Our costumes are available for a six-week checkout period. MLC will cover the cost to mail you the costumes, but does not cover the return postage. You can also arrange to pick up and return them to MLC during our operating hours if that works better for you. So, what costumes do we have available? We have two Santa suits available for checkout. Each comes with a jacket, pants, shoe covers, and a hat. They also include a beard and gloves that do not need to be returned. We also have various inflatable costumes available. They each have a zipper closure and a built-in blower. The blower is battery powered and batteries are included. The inflatable costumes include a cow, an elephant, a hot dog, a kitten, a penguin, a puppy, two sharks, a T-Rex, a unicorn, and numerous Christmas trees and gingerbread men. Usually, people think about using costumes as supplements to programs, but what else could you use them for? I mentioned earlier costumes can help create PR and social media content. Here is an example made at MLC promoting talking book services using our costumes. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that Saint Nicholas soon Games are a popular option for programs such as Game Night at the Library. They can offer families and friends the opportunity to try out games before they purchase them and a way to meet new people. And since they come with instructions, this can help make it a little bit more low stress for the librarian. Our games are available for a six week checkout period. MLC will cover the cost to mail you the games but does not cover the return postage. You can also arrange to pick up and or return them to MLC during our operating hours if that works best for you. So, what games do we have available? Some of our group games include Bugs in the Kitchen. There is a bug in the kitchen. Quick! Who'll catch it first? This bug is on the loose and moving fast. Guide the bug into your corner. One wrong turn and he'll get past. Planet. A world is taking shape in the palm of your hands. Take on the role of super beings and compete to create perfect worlds with the ideal conditions for wildlife to flourish. And Trekking the National Parks. Trekking the National Parks is a spirited family board game that lets players experience the U.S. National Parks in a fun and competitive way. 
Some of her games are card games, which include Cabo, the Elusive Unicorn. Spy, swap, and peek to find Cabs, the Unicorn, in this fun, addictive, and simple card game. The player with the lowest total wins. Can you shed your cards quicker than your opponents? Word spill. Be the first to get rid of all 10 of your cards by making words. Each turn, simply start your word with the last card played. Just like the name, word spill. Spill uses the S from words. It's the word game where the end is just the beginning. And zangle. A zangle is a combination of two or more cards that make the shape of another card. With three ways to play, it's endless hours of fun. Take your time in turn style play. Boost your adrenaline by racing your opponents in speedster. Or play solitaire to keep your brain kicking and heart ticking. Solo games are, like the name implies, games that can be played by oneself. One example is Invasion of the Cow Snatchers. In it, you select a challenge card and place the pieces on the game grid. Then you slide a UFO piece over the grid cover to beam up the cows while avoiding the obstacles. When you've beamed up all of the cows, you pick up the Red Bull last to win. Our other solo games, such as Chocolate Fix and Gravity Maze Marble Run, follow a similar format of using challenge cards to set up a board before trying to accomplish a task. I would be remiss if I don't mention some of the other games that didn't fit in these first categories. We've created two Dungeons & Dragons, or D&D kits, one basic and one advanced. They each include a starter rulebook, the Lost Mine of Fandelver booklet, pre-generated character sheets, five dice sets, and a DM screen. The advanced set also includes other books, such as the Monster Manual and Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Due to the nature of the game, the D&D sets have a three-month checkout period instead of a six-week like the other games. We also have a ladder ball set, which players compete to score the most points by tossing and wrapping their bolos, which are soft rubber balls connected by thick rope, around different rungs on a ladder. We also have Tower Ball, which is a fusion of cornhole and darts that you can learn to play in just minutes. Now to our other stuff. While the items I've talked about so far can be easily grouped together, the rest is, well, a little more unconventional. Most of them have a six-week checkout period, but there are a few exceptions. And like the other kits, MLC will cover the cost to mail them to you, but does not cover the return postage. Some cannot be mailed, so arrangements need to be made to pick up and or return them to MLC during our operating hours. One of our most popular items are the button makers. The kit comes with the button maker, the metal pinback shells, the mylar to protect the buttons, and a circle cutter. You just add the creativity. Buttons can be designed online at places such as Avery.com using the template number 94150 or patrons can design their own buttons on pre-cut circles. Please note that the button maker has a two-month checkout period and must be picked up and returned to MLC in person during operating hours. Here is a video to demonstrate how easy it is to use the button maker. We also have some kits that introduce children to coding. They are available for a six-week checkout period and can be mailed. Some of these kits include Botley the Coding Robot. Children as young as five can learn the core concepts and fundamental applications of coding while promoting critical thinking and problem-solving skills in a screen-free manner. Coding Go Mouse Set. It also allows children to learn the core concepts of fundamental applications of coding while promoting critical thinking and problem-solving skills in a screen-free manner. We also have puppet kits. 
Our puppet kits are themed and include multiple puppets and books. Each is available for a six-week checkout period and can be mailed. An example of one themed kit is Domestic Animals, which has a bunny puppet, a cat puppet, and a dog puppet. It also includes the books Kitten's First Full Moon by Kevin Hinkies and Mr. Waffles by David Weisner. Other themes include insects, wild forest creatures, and mythical beings. We also have three sewing machines available for checkout. They are Singer Model MX231 machines, which have 97 stitch applications. We also have four sewing kits that can be checked out with the sewing machines an animal sewing kit, which helps the user create small stuffed animals, an apron sewing kit, an ornament sewing kit to help create Christmas tree ornaments, and a pillows and dish towel sewing kit. Each kit comes with two yards of fabric and additional sewing notions like tailor's chalk, extra bobbins, hot glue guns, and hand sewing kits. Unused items will need to be returned with the machines. Libraries will need to provide any additional fabric depending on the size of their planned program. Please note that the sewing machines have a two-month checkout period and must be picked up and returned to MLC in person during operating hours. We also have kits that allow users to explore STEM topics. These kits have a six-week checkout period and can be mailed. Please note that due to the cost of some of the kits, some will need to be mailed with insurance if returned through postal services. One type kit is the Ingeno Discovering STEM. With the mechanics, wheels, axles, and inclined plane set, kids learn how wheels and axles use friction to move objects easily and the mechanical advantage between large wheels and small wheels. They can build 14 working models such as an airport staircase, a car and crane, a launching platform, and more. The kit includes easy to follow instructions and includes 18 pages of theory and amazing facts with explanations of the different scientific principles accompanied by fun experiments to test what newly acquired knowledge. A four page quiz section is also included. Another type is learning resources. With the playground set, your little engineers can build their very own playgrounds as they build early STEM skills. Plan, design, and then build a seesaw, a swing set, a slide, and so much more. Use the activity cards to direct the play or simply allow kids to explore open-ended building possibilities. And snap circuits. With the green alternative energy set, build over 125 projects investigating alternative energy strategies. This includes a full color manual with over 100 pages. Another one of our most popular items are story walks. Story walks are picture books that have been deconstructed, laminated, and mounted so they can be placed at parks, on walking trails, etc. They are a great way to promote early literacy skills, physical activity, and family engagement outdoors. Each story walk has a two-month checkout period and can be mailed. They come in two boxes, one for the storyboard panels and one for the metal stakes. A QR code is included on the last storyboard, so patrons can complete a brief survey. I will email you the survey results once the story walk is returned. It is a way to get a snapshot of how many people participated with the story walk and their feedback. Unfortunately, it is not guaranteed everyone will complete the QR code survey since everyone is not willing and or able to do so. As of November 2022, we have 12 story walks, including Not Norman, A Goldfish Story by Kelly Bennett, illustrated by Noah Jones. As a boy attempts to convince someone else to take his disappointing pet, he learns to love Norman the goldfish himself. And Swashby in the Sea by Beth Ferry, Illustrated by Juana martinez Neal. No Nonsense Captain Swashby is used to the sea, meeting all of his needs, and when, after his retirement, new neighbors disturb his solitary life, the sea helps in just the right way. So that is some of what MLC Special Collections have to offer. If you have any questions or want to reserve some of our items to use in your library, please contact me at C Simpkins at mlc.lib.ms.us or call me at 601-432-4498. I hope you have a wonderful day.